Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima. Um, so, I wasn't gonna post a video today, it wasn't planned, um, and yesterday I just put up a really quick update video and things like that, um, and honestly, there's been a lot of changes going on in my life and a lot of things happening that I haven't really had time to sit and stop and think about some of the things happening in the world recently, and I kind of just want to talk about them real quick. This is just gonna be a, um, an unedited video that, uh, because honestly, I don't have time to edit it, but I think it's just important, and I would be really mad at myself in the future if I didn't put up a video about this during this time, because then, in the end, I feel like I might be becoming part of the issue there. Um... I'm talking about the recent shooting in Oregon. Um, I watched some videos from Lisa Schwartz and uh, Hannah Hart talking about the violence and the school shootings and things like that. Um, and as a resident of Chicago, it happens so much. Um, I think. Part of me didn't believe how much it happened until I lived here for a couple of years um, and really started to open my mind more and um, watch the news and see how much stuff happens on particularly like the south side of Chicago but it doesn't have to be on the south side um, and I think that's just that's just the way of the world that we live in and it's so depressing so depressing because there have been so many um, cases of just real gun violence in the United States and I just don't understand why no one in power is doing anything to change it. How many people have to die before we say enough is enough, we need to change laws about who can get a gun or background checks for people who get a license? And, you know, how many people have to die? Is there a number on that? Because if there is, that's sick. And I really agree with Hannah Hart in her video saying that the number one reason that she has heard for the reason to um, to not touch gun laws is because it potentially restricts someone's hobby. Um, I mean, I have my own personal views on that. I don't believe in guns, really. Like, in my own daily life, they're not something that I ever want to be around. Um, and... I don't know. I feel like everyone should have a right to uh, have them if they want, but I feel like it's just like a car. If you have to take a test to make sure that you're not going to drive and drive right into a tree with a car, which is, you know, it's people who are good drivers crash their cars. It happens. Accidents happen with vehicles. But with a gun, you you don't even need some things like that. Like, that's ridiculous. It's a gun. Um, and I'm, I'm so sick of seeing stories of people dying unnecessarily. Because... People who are in power just are ignoring the problem. Um, or they're focusing on a different issue. And I just don't, I don't get it. Like, to me, right now, I am so over hearing about things that happened with sensitive information on someone's cell phone getting leaked. You know, like Hillary Clinton. I'd rather hear a stance on gun violence. I'd rather hear a stance on moving forward and progressing in our nation 
because this is not normal. This is not okay. Um, this makes me scared. I, I'm honestly scared to continue living where I'm living, and um, and I don't even mean that in my city. I mean that in my country. Because some jackass could just do that, and there's nothing to stop them. And they don't even have to be a jackass. They could just be someone who's going through something, and no one is helping them. And it's the only way that they're rationalizing in their head to react because of mental illness or anything like that. Like, there's so much messed up with this. Um, and I'm over it. And... I'm pleading with people in power. Stop. Do something. This is not okay. Like, your nation is falling apart at the seams because your people are killing each other. You're going towards a freaking civil war here. And instead, you're focusing on Oh, someone was using their work email on their phone. Shut the hell up, get over it, and do something else. I understand that that's an issue in and of itself, but unless someone's using something like that and it's taking someone's life, shut up. I'm over it. Like, get your priorities straight. And for those who are in support of it, and afraid that someone's going to take away your gun and your hobby. Find another hobby. I'm sorry. But if someone told me that me making videos could potentially kill people. And that, you know, because other people weren't being responsible with videos. That I would have to, you know, get licensed to do it. I'd be like, okay. If you're that passionate about your hobby, take that extra step. It's just, it blows my mind. Um, and my thoughts are with the families of the people who have had to die so unnecessarily. Because um, it's ridiculous. There are people who were just taken um, from this earth because of someone else or themselves or no one was helping them or there weren't laws that could prevent this and how many people have to die before we finally say it's enough because I I mean I kind of agree with Hannah Hart like I, w I almost want to say like I'm waiting for something really really bad to happen and then finally there's gonna have to be a change but like how it's happened it's happened so many times and nothing's changed. And it's not okay. So what can we do in our, um, in our lives? Um, I think that that's the most important thing because or else I'm just complaining to a camera and I've done nothing. Um, you can write to your local representative. Um, you can do research and Plead with the officials, and you can be really informed when you are voting in upcoming elections and stuff for the people who are representing you to make sure that this is on their radar. Um, and if it's not, then why isn't it? Um, it's really important to be informed, and that's something that took me a really long time to figure out because I always thought it was so much easier to just live in my head and have my own little bubble and just pretend like nothing was really wrong in the world because nothing was wrong in Devin's world. And that is, um, that's like choosing ignorance. And I never want to be that person again. Um, because I'd, I'd rather do good than do nothing. Um, I'm going to copy and paste pretty much the exact same links below that um, Hannah Hart had in her video.
video because there was a lot of good information there. Um, yeah. So, I'll just do something, you know. And I don't even know how to end this video now because I want to say, you know, I'll see you guys next week and I, I don't know.